Hey guys, Kalix is here, and today we are doing another speeping of the Flying Insanity. Now, you're probably asking what the heck this thing is, and why am I speaking into this one than the other ones I have done so far? So, basically, um, with the other speed paints, it was just character designs of my friends so I can use it as reference to uh, future thumbnails and all that stuff that's why I kind of did it and give you guys the idea of what they might look like in a cartoon version sort of thing like I like my cartoon versions um but um, yeah so with this flying insanity I'm doing this different because this is a creature that I've made back in my school and this is just a little story talk about this thing so you guys get an understanding of why the heck I've done this piece and all that. So basically this is actually a recreation of my original Fly Insanity which I will pop up on the screen for a few seconds, three minutes depending how long I want it to, to be up there. So basically, again, this is a recreation of this piece that I am showing you right now. Uh, I did this back in school, basically. I say basically too much. God damn it. <laughs> so I get that this video is going to be super long. So if you want, you can skip to the end to see the end result of this thing. Or you want to hear me out of what this thing is. Or you want to watch the rest of the video. So sort of thing. it's up to you. But um, so far now, I am going to talk about what the heck this thing is and how it came around and stuff. So let's start from the beginning. So before I created Fly Insanity, I was in school and I was doing an art project, a personal art project. So I chose a theme as you do in some schools to choose a theme like fantasy, um, sci-fi, movement. Like, just a theme, paradise, and all that. So my theme was mythical, uh, gods, goddess, legends, myths, and all that stuff. And I wanted to create my own creature for it, and for it. Sorry, my English is quite bad. <laughs> um, but um, I did this creature for a piece, a final piece, actually. So before that, I had to like, you know, as you do with art, like you take pictures of reference like animals or you need to choose uh, three artists to research on. Most of my artists were fairies, but I chose to be having like a, some type of dragon sort of thing because I was really into dragons and like with the fairies, I, I they suggested that because I quite like my characters and they suggested fairies and all this stuff, but I wanted to... Uh, get away from that form of um, creation sort of thing. So um, with this, um, with these together, I could like go on to my own projects. So I have two artists that has fairies, but one of them did have a dragon, and I did another artist that has like um, dragons, Medusa. With, I think it's Hercules, I can't remember. Um, and there was another one, which I can't remember. And I remember I did do a piece beforehand of um, of a phoenix. I haven't done a griffin, but this is at the time where I was into the griffins, the phoenix, dragons and all that. So this is why this has come around. So I wanted to create my own creature, my own, like, probably a dragon, my own myth, my own lore and creation. So for a while I've been sketching out uh, different things of creatures, like I've done, like, probably um, I had to, to actually sketch out an animal, like one of my cats, I had to uh, sketch out my cat's um, head for a reference sort of thing. And I've been doing that, I've sketched out some animals. as research in a way of understanding certain myth laws and all that sort of thing and then while I was doing like um, experimental and um, actually um, making an idea of a final piece like if you guys done art 
uh, GCSE or Art A levels. You understand what I'm on about. Um, so for our for final ideas, I had a portrait of a creature they wanted to do, or a storyboard. They said I can do a storyboard, but I didn't want to. Um, I could potentially do a canvas of something, but I didn't choose a canvas or anything like that. I decided to do an A3 piece of paper of a creature. So I went on to designing the creature, and the one I have showed you, the recreation, the original picture, that was actually the first sketch I had of the creature. And I like the design. Like I did two other designs and I did not like them of this creature and I kept on with the original and I think for the final piece because the one I'm showing you now isn't the final piece it was actually the first sketch of it and the first um, coloring sort of thing. So that one actually um, isn't really the final piece I'm showing you it's actually the one I am uh, Basically, I'm showing you um, the first design I had for this creature because I don't have a photo of the final piece that I have now. So then, because I don't have my artwork yet because they're still stuck in school, which I will be collecting soon. Hopefully. But yeah, so I created this creature through all these um, wanting to have like a dragon, phoenix, uh, side griffin, and all that, and other animals like hyenas, kangaroos, horses, snakes, rabbits, you know, all the ones I do know on top of my head, because I don't have all the pictures I need. If I wanted to wanted pictures of certain animals, I had to take them off Google, and that knocks off marks for me. But the only time I used Google was once for a parrot picture picture for the wings, because uh, with wings I do have difficulties drawing, but I am improving in some in certain ways. But um, uh, yeah. So with this in hand, I did this first sketch and when I looked at it, I didn't know what to call it because usually I would call uh, my characters their names uh, depending what I want them to be or it depends what they look like really. It all depends what they look like but sometimes it depends on their background and their story or something like that. That's the way I usually go. But this one, I took the look of the creature. And the first name that popped in my head, because I looked at the hyena's head, because it looked it looked like it was insane, like crazy and all that stuff. And I thought of the flying insanity. Straight off the back, because I'm not very good with names, I'm not very good at naming creatures, so I thought flying insanity sounded amazing, and it still does to me to this day. So I called it the Flying Sanity, some of the teachers like, why the heck did you call this thing uh, Flying Sanity? And I said, I don't know, it sounds cool though. And they were laughing their heads off, but anyways, uh, I called it the Flying Sanity and then I develop lore. Like when I create a character, and I, if I really love the character, I would actually make the background and their story on top of my head. So with the Flying Sanity, it's a mythical creature um, that involves with insanity and health conditions. Now I'll be moving on to that later. But first off, the first idea, the first story for this one is that um, uh, this creature contains insanity and sanity. Basically, so at the start, I wanted this, wanted this creature to uh, switch out insanity levels. So basically, what I'm talking about is, let's say you got this crazy person that's going psycho and all that, and there's no way of getting him back. Let's say he all of a sudden turned normal. And let's say this really rich guy who's been nasty and all that stuff. Let's say he's gone turn insane, crazy, can't think straight sort of thing. 
that was the first idea, well, the first concept of this lore of creature, that this thing can swap insanity levels between people, but it only targets certain people. Now, that was the first idea. And then I thought that maybe because this creature has three heads and only two of them control something, the horse's head controls the sanity. So it takes away the insanity levels that this person has. And the high hyena's head, I am referencing the heads now, so you guys can understand what I am on about. Uh, between these heads, the hyena gives out the insanity, so it makes you crazy sort of thing and what it does is it takes away insanity from a really good person who used to be a good person but turned crazy takes that away from them give them a good life and then giving someone who's horrible mad angry uh, just it's not a really good person and give them insanity and they'll be locked up in a way that that's that's the idea at first and then I just realized um, probably a couple of days later that actually it's not just two heads there's three there's one on a tail that looks like has a snake body but also have a rabbit head with ears and all that stuff so I thought something more maybe like health conditions so let's say that you're a really good person but you're stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Let's say this thing came along just like, bam, you can walk again, sort of thing. It cured you in, certain, in a certain way, and um, basically it takes that condition away from you and gives it to someone else who deserves to suffer more than you. That's what this creature is, basically. And I developed the lore more and more and more over time. So with this is I don't want it to be an OP creature in a way. Because I think of games a lot and I don't like... And certain shows that you don't need... Like if you have a really OP character like Superman, you gotta give them a weakness, right? Like Superman has a weakness who has like... Um, Kryptonite has his weakness sort of thing and like every hero every person has a weakness so this creature's weakness is that it has to collect first before giving out and it depends on their mood to do what is needed so they're mainly a good creature but also a bad one so let me explain this so I didn't really give these heads names um, yet but I might do placeholders of names. It might change or it might say, if it says, it probably means that they're staying as they are. So these three names, I thought of it like a couple of days ago. This was straight after my exam, straight after I finished everything. So I have improved the lore a bit more. So let's say the hyena head is called Chaos, uh, obviously. The horse's head is called Weiss. Yes, Weiss from Ruby. No, there's a reason for that, really. And the rabbit's head, Bonnie. Bonnie. Let, let's go with that, Bonnie. <laughs> but I would say with Bonnie, he likes to change his name a lot, referencing to like rabbit names or snake names sort of thing. Like his, let's say his old name was Sliver, but he changed his name. So he's like that type of character. So they're all like separate creatures but stuck in one body so chaos is like the main evil one that dishes out insanity and health conditions but you can't do that as long the other two is in control so the only way the other two can take control of this like control of chaos sorry Ugh. the only way the other two can control chaos is if they're both in a happy mood or all of them in a happy mood. If at least two of them are not in a good mood, in a negative mood, then the chaos will take control. So chaos, again, dishes out insanity and condition, health conditions to anyone. It doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care what you've been through. It will either give you 
the stuff that the other two has collected or just murderize you on the spot. That's how the dangerous side of this thing is. And if it used too much of the, con the health conditions they collect and the insanity levels, they might go back to square one where they have nothing. That's how chaos can't like take control and he can't be responsible for taking control of the body basically. So with Chaos, Chaos is like the mean one, the nasty head, and the other two takes control of it once if it's a good mood. So that's why it's kind of like a bad, good situation sort of thing. So let's move on to Weiss, the horse's head. Weiss, I decided for her, I, I believe I will might call her her, her now. Um, she, Chaos can be a he, uh, Weiss can be a she, because why not? So she is basically wise, knowledgeable, that's why I called her wise, because uh, she's wise, knowledgeable, and she's the only one that can speak any other language, depending where they are. So like, say, um, they can speak English, and if they're in like, um, uh, in Mexico, they can speak their language, or in Welsh, in Wales, they can speak Welsh. Um, basically that sort of thing um, so she's the only one that can communicate between people and she's like the wise one knowledgeable one and she's the one that's mainly control the body she just needs to back up from Barney so she's the one that controls sanity so she collects sanity from good people like I said they rather take away the suffering from good people and give them out to the bad people that are out there that, that's the idea, the whole idea I had for these, really. But anyways, with Bonnie, Bonnie is the health side. So Bonnie is the one that takes away your, let's say, disability, your your condition that you have. Like, you, you got a heart problem? Let me take that away from you. You're fully healthy, sort of thing. That's what Bonnie does. That's what it does. I... <laughs> I don't know if Bonnie is like a girl or boy. I think it's. I think Bonnie is like that one creature that doesn't know what it is. Like, is is it a girl? Is it a guy? That's why I call it Bonnie because Bonnie is basically a guy's name and girl's name. So I think Bonnie is a good name for it. If it's like a guy's name, then it would be a guy. But if it's a girl name, it could be a girl or something. Or unless it could be the opposite way around. It depends on Bonnie. <laughs> that's how that's how Bonnie's weird. But it's like kind of showing like sort of like a mind condition sort of thing that Bonnie has. That that's why I kinda of decided on that really. So Bonnie is like the one that makes you healthy and Weiss is the one that makes you sane again or just make you sane for the first time. And chaos is the one that drives you crazy, uh, makes you suffer through conditions that they have collected, and possibly kill you. Now that's what this whole thing is. So again, it's not OP. It's not. Um, it's not weak either, because if they're threatened by a bigger force than them, then they will let chaos let loose. But it depends of who's around again. Weiss and Bonnie doesn't like hurting people are good. Chaos doesn't care who you are, even if you're good or bad. But the other two would care if it's good people. They wouldn't care if it's bad people. That that's what the mindset are. They're totally the different creatures, the different personalities. They're different, and they have to put up with each other on the same body, which they are on. So they do fly and they do swim. That, that's why they do have gills which I've had it in the end sort of thing and yeah <laughs> that's flying sanity right there um, again this is um, new again because I am speaking into this video um, you will um, it will be going back to normal after I finish my speech or talk or webs um, it will be music playing in the background sort of thing uh, like the others, but I wanted to do um, 
this type of thing because Flying Sanity, I don't believe anyone heard of this thing before because I actually was the one that made it and I believe I haven't put it on social media or anything so I decided to put it up here. Then yeah, that's Flying Sanity. Um, I will put this um, creature up on DeviantArt and I will try and type up the uh, lore into uh, Deviant Art as well as best as I could and yeah if you guys want me to do another video like this where I sp uh, like I talk about my creations I have or I can do in a story mode basically I'm thinking of like making characters and like speak into like a story voice little thing let's say I'm like this one character that's talking to you about their story in a first person view. That's what I want to kind of do. Um, and when and when speed paints on my plan or something, or maybe like the OCs, so I can tell their stories or something. But um, yeah, that's. I would say that's pretty much it. Again, if you don't want to watch the whole video, the whole speed paint, you can skip to the end of the video where the final piece is finished uh, again I will pop up the original again for you to see everything I have mentioned everything that will be added to the recreations and it might be different might not be but um, yeah so hopefully you guys again enjoyed this I am terrible at speeches like this <laughs> and um, I, I do hope I do hope that you guys actually enjoyed this. Um, if you did, uh, give it a like. Comment down below if you want to. Maybe what you think of the Sign Sanity, and what do you think of the ideas I had for future speed paints or future creations and stuff. Like, like what do you guys think? And subscribe today for more stuff like this as well with my gaming and all that and. Um, yeah, and don't forget to whack the bell button with a hammer or something, and that's it. That, that's actually it. And if you want, you can check out uh, my Deviant Arm, which will be linked down below. Any music that's going to be playing in this me in this video, I mean. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, Anything that's been playing in this video, like song-wise, they will all be linked down below in order of how, what order I put them in, basically. So, they will be linked to their original video, if it's depending, or the original artists um, who made the song. Which I always do for my speed paint, with my speed paint, and my other videos which I include in music. So with further ado, I hope you enjoyed. Again, comment down below what you actually think of the creature and what do you think um, if I did a good job and if I should have done this in two parts because how long the video is. And I'm sorry if I dragged this on so much. Um, it's, again, it's like the first kind of time that I'm talking about something that I did outside of uh, YouTube. Uh, well, kind no, I was still doing YouTube then. Basically those. So if you want stuff like this, again, just give this video a like, and I'll try and do another one or something different again. And, um, yeah, my throat is hurting through all this talking. Usually that's not normal for me. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna end it here. Killer XCC is out for now. See you guys in the next video. Bye!
would like to fly away, y'all. Yeah. Off of this earth, I would fly with the halos. Don't know my worth, but I figured out how pain goes. Treat it as a curse or reverse it, okay, go. Back to a time when I didn't make choices. Back to a time when my parents were my voices. Back to a time when I used to take classes. Back to a time when I couldn't really pass shit, it happens. Try to figure out fate, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I try to figure out hate, yo, yeah On the beach in San Diego, yeah Feet in the sand, it's late, yo Moon up in the sky, so high, so bright The only thing at night that can really shed light And I wish I didn't fight with my thoughts at night I think that I'm alright, but it burns inside Find And we could just fade away into each other's lives And we could just fade away until we're all right just fade away into each other's lives And we can just fade away until we're all right I got too many thoughts in my head Thoughts that I dread, opinions from my friends This shit, it never ends I'm sick of all these trends, I'm sick of paying rent I'm sick of growing up and not just knowing how it ends So I plan with intent, today I make a dent I'm gonna make it happen, everything that I have dreamt And a hand I extend, out like a friend To anyone who's ever felt lost in the sand Yeah, let's both repent, forgive and forget And keep on moving forward till we do what we have said Yeah, we feast on the bread, we eat then we're fed And we need to go shed all this doubt in our our head. All this cloud that I tread is now where I head But I found out instead that my voice, it can spread Got a choice, take a breath, make a noise and forget About any doubts, we gon' live with every And we can just fade away into each other's lives And we can just fade away until we're all right And we can just fade away into each other's lives And we can just fade away until we're all
Yeah. Everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Everybody knows my heart's vacant now. Yeah, she hates me now. I made mistakes, but now I don't ever wanna be alone. I don't really ever feel at home. On my own, in the zone. That's the only way I know. Feeling low, about to blow back up. I won't ever let the doubt creep in. Gotta pop a couple more aspirin. I don't think I'll ever let you in. Easier to break it off as friends. I don't really understand myself. I don't really understand. Need help. I don't wanna be left on the shelf. Couldn't even hear me if I yelled. It's so cold outside. I'm alone. I'm alright. It's so cold outside. I'm alone. I'm alright. It's so cold. Always feel like I could break now, but I never let it take me to that place now. I won't ever let my thoughts get away now. I got better things to do, picking fate now. I just wanna be the best, call me great now. I don't know if I'm okay or insane now. I remember better days on the playground, hoping I can find my way to Even when I'm feeling now. down, I fight. Even when I don't know what is right, I'ma pick a side and I'ma take pride. I will decide my fate and die. Will never let them tell me who I am. If you try to shake me, I'll be damned. Planning on the ground is where I stand. Never give up, that was always the plan. It's so cold. Yeah. I'm alone, I'm alright It's so cold outside I'm alone
Yeah. I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah. This legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest. I just wanna be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive, even though. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough. Try to get by, life's rough. Try to do it right, it's not enough. Even though you try, you still mess up. But I'm still gonna fight for what I love. Still gonna die for what I love. Still gonna try, I won't give up. Still gonna fight until I've won. They say, I'm way too obsessed and I've got nothing left And I'm not quite there yet But those words they'll regret Cause I've got something left And I'm not giving in I will not let them win I won't stop till the end, no
Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets. Live with every breath, see my message start to spread. And I had so many dreams, when you hit your teens. Life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow. Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art It's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in Let me in, yeah <laughs> I want the real stuff, everybody listen up Cause I'll only say it once I'm gonna show you all the path If you want it bad I'm gonna show you where it's at Yeah, how you can get it back Yeah, cause I ain't never done I'll be number one Working hella hard until I get just what I want Yeah, rise just like the sun Yeah, fatal like a gun Shooter's gonna shoot and I'm gonna shoot until I fall yeah. Always do it on my own So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all this art, it's my only medicine. Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah.
yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur. When you're working this hard, yeah, you get what you deserve. Yeah, I ain't taking a backseat, I'm passing. Anybody else who is rapping, I'm nasty. Ain't nobody able to catch me, they gasping. They cannot compare, they can't match me, I'm at half speed. I got your girl, and she Laughing and dancing, hanging on my watch, she asking to crash with me, smash with me, she's savage, she wants cash money, and she knows that I live lavishly, uh, I wanna live, I'm cold inside, give all I have just to feel alive, I fight to live, I fight to strive, one day I'll have what I want. I want the whole world in the palm of my hand I got a plan, I'm the man Now I'm teaching the game A veteran better than anybody else who tests me I'm ready, looking in my hand and it's steady I'm trending, ascending and blending Lyrical bending, now I'm spreading and getting My name out now, yeah they hear me laugh All the crowds repping the sound I'm hitting the ground, running up and coming Ain't nothing, yeah rookie of the year I'ma keep it 100, cold blooded No budget from nothing to something I ain't bluffing, I got a full hand and a full plan I ain't gonna stop till I'm at the top man Every single drop got me feeling awesome I'm about to pop started from the bottom yeah. I wanna live I'm cold inside Give all I have just to feel alive I fight to live I fight to strive One day I'll have what I want in life
have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sitting And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night inning There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Baby, it right, that's the thing Every night got a team I've been tied to the scene Out on stage, here I'm screaming Okay, this a dream And I pray as a team One day it be me If I want it, then I'll get it Head down, don't regret it Push myself to the limit. If I play it, then I win it. I'm just saying, I'm just living for today, for a minute. I don't stay, I just visit, it. Have no shame, I admit it. Yeah. Looking right at me to see if I succeed, to see if I believe. They're looking up to me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. To God, man, I'ma make it soon. Silence all the haters as they see us making moves. I do what I want, so I got nothing to prove. Staying motivated, teaching others what to do. I'm staying focused, my mind is open. They start to notice that I'm in motion. There is no potion, you're not just chosen. It takes devotion to stay composed, man. Never stop, never stop, there ain't no time to fight. Try to live, get it up, you got one life to pop Thinking big, never small, cause you gotta want it up When you finally get that cup, you get ready, take it up Need a handout, I already stand out Starting to advance now, ready to expand now You don't have a chance now, cause we're in demand now Make it by the grand now, feeling in command now They're looking right at me, to see if I succeed to see if I believe They're looking up to me They want the best of me now Best of me now Best of me now Best of me They want the best of me now Best of me now Best of me now Best of me, best of me.